This tutorial is about how to make forged carbon frame for long range or freestyle quad. It took me around two weeks to make this video, so I hope it will be inspiration for someone. Firstly, why the hell anybody would want to make a forged carbon frame when you can buy just any frame you want? Answer is, why not? It has many advantages. It is cheap for homemade production and single production. You don't need any CNC milling machine and still make very high quality looking frame. Only equipment you need is 3D printer. Also, you can make very stiff and robust frame. Because you can play with the 3D propulsion portions of the arms and you are not risking the lamination uh, that you will have with carbon fiber plates. What we will need? As I said, a 3D printer, a liquid wax for use in molds, a carbon fiber roving, a resin for carbon fiber and hardener as well, a pair of rubber gloves, a digital scale, some clamps or large wise, some hard plates or wooden planks, a drill and for specific frame you will use 1.5mm, 2.5mm and other drills, uh, some knives, flat screwdriver and some, some other hard sharp obje objects you will use for extracting. Now to the process. Step 1. Design a frame you want, design the mold for it and 3D print it. For this specific 4-incher you can find the files in the description. I could share the know-how with you, but uh, I'm too lazy for it. It's uh, not about some secret, it's just too many necessary informations and many tries. And it's simpler for me to provide the step and STL files. Step 2. Use the release wax for molds to all the printed parts and let it dry. Step 3. Put on gloves and prepare some short carbon fiber for the cordon filling, some longer fibers for the arms and some medium fibers uh, for the step with arm. Step 4. Mix the resin with hardener in specified ratio. Step 5. Prepare the mold with some resin and stuff the carbon fibers in it. Think about the stress points and the larger segments that need short length fibers and try to fill the mold evenly according to geometry of the frame. It should look like it's overfilled when it's done right. Then put the top part of the mold and slowly squeeze the mold with some clamps or large vise. Step 6. Wait until the resin is hardened. It depends on specific resin, but I had to wait 24 hours because this resin hardens really slowly in room temperature. It is easier to work with slow resins because you have enough time for stuffing the carbon fibers. Step 7. Cut the edge of the mold in the place that should be on the level of the bottom of the mold. Uh, You'll see what I mean. It should be visible due to the thin walls. Yes, I will sacrifice the mold because uh, it is really hard to make a mold on 3D printer that will not crack during the extracting process. It's better to print the mold with less material and just destroy it completely. Trust me, I have made many molds for this frame. Step 8. Extract the carbon fiber from the mold by using force and any possible sharp object you have. 
step 9. Clean the overspilled edges and send the whole frame as you like. Step 10. Print a drilling stencil and stick it on the frame. Drill the hole uh, by the stencil with 1.5mm except for the motor mounts that should be 2 um, or 2.5mm. Just think about it. <laughs> think about what you will mount on the specific holes and drill it. <laughs> That's all. You can finish the frame with uh, transparent spray paint or any other paint. Uh, and finally print out the plastic standoffs and complete the frame with M2 screws. I forgot to say, you have to alter some M2 screws. Nice, hex M2 screws. I'm constantly developing new frames, uh, so there might be a 5 inch version, 3 inch version, uh, I will add it to my fingers. So try it and if you have any questions, uh, ask in the comments. Bye.